All right, hi everybody. So it's day three of the PD program at the Telstra Labs. So yesterday I learned a lot of things from really about customer interviews and how to do that and uh, to get a better insight uh, from, from a user's perspective. We want to actually validate our idea. So we are here at uh, Madame Brussels Line, uh, which is just a food court. And I'm just gonna get some people um, and see if they're willing to give uh, 10 to 15 minutes of their time. Actually, um, quite a few of uh, the coffee vouchers here. So what I was gonna do is offer them a free coffee if they just ready to spend 10 to 15 minutes of their time. This is the first time I'm doing customer interviews, uh, so let's see how it goes. Um, so the medical app is basically uh, for people who are actually sick or suffering a long-term illness or elderly people, we think that it's quite hard for them to go pick up their prescription medications every time. So the idea is we want to build an app where which you can just go upload your prescription uh, slip and someone will actually come and deliver the medications to you. When you have been probably sick and if you're not dependent on a carer, like maybe on your wife or your a parent or anything like that, do you find that it's hard to sort of um, go to the pharmacy and get the medications? Would you actually just think, I just want to get an app to sort of say, get my uh, medications delivered to home? Of course, it's quite important, um, I guess, with the aging population as well. I always get the medication myself. Okay. I mean, um, if my mum's you know, going shopping or visiting the pharmacy, you know, she might buy it on my behalf. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, living close, uh, close proximity to yep. shops, so it's not a uh, significant event. I mean, it might be different if you live in a regional area. I think for me in my current situation, it's probably not as critical mm -hmm. um, as for someone in that situation you were talking about earlier who's elderly and, and probably further away from mm -hmm. a pharmacy. For me it's like a two minute drive to get to a pharmacy. It's not, not, not a critical um, service for me. That would be very handy yep. um, in those situations where they can't get to a pharmacy Yes. and because we work full time yes. um, we often can't get to mm -hmm. my parents house to get the prescriptions we can go to the pharmacy so okay. yeah, it would be really handy for, for those situations yeah. is that something you would pay for yeah i would pay for it um obviously the amount that i would pay would uh would be in question. What if you said something like, say, a flat rate of $5 per delivery? $5, $10, $20, where would you say, no, I'm not going to use that? I'd say I definitely wouldn't at 20 Okay, yeah. Any, 10 Possibly. Possibly. De depends on the situation. $5 per delivery? Yeah. It would probably be, depends how often you'd needed medication, mm -hmm. but if it's $5 delivery on um, sort of like a random medication and an urgent medication, that would be okay. That would be okay. That would be okay. You know, it has to be something different to what exists currently. Mm -hmm. You know, Airtasker, someone could potentially just put something on Airtasker, say, can you buy me this medication and someone could drop it off. Maybe avoiding um, paper prescriptions or some yes. kind of profile, medication profile. If, if I was in your shoes, yes. um, I would actually try to get government back in um, mm -hmm. in terms of there are so many campaigns that um, both health run, you know, like for Active April, they do a soft uh, app which engages people to um, get active during the yep. month of April. Mm -hmm. And I guess if you speak to the right people um, yep. at the right time, yes. the uh, right message, I think, uh, can go a long way. That's awesome. Thank you very much. That's really good. That's a lot of insights. No worries. Thank you. Thank you.